All right, uh, Vern, as you know, while well, the Splash Brothers have taken the NBA by storm this year, the PGA has a brother tandem of its own. Diehard Seahawks fans, obviously. Yeah, yeah. It's our one thing we can cheer for in the Northwest. <laughs> <laughs> the 12th man could soon be hitching its wagon to goal. Tacoma, Washington's Putnam brothers are a rare breed on tour. I mean, you know, it's cool having family on the road and being able to travel and, and hang out. And, you know, we try to at least get nine practice holes together uh, before the tournaments. The Putnams are the first set of brothers to play full time on the PGA Tour since Kurt and Tom Byram in the early 1990s. So how do brothers handle competing for wins in an individual sport? Well, we've got the question asked to us a few times, so we've thought about it. But I, I would just like to see how my parents would react. That's the, that's the question. <laughs> Who would they cheer for, you know? Who do you think? What would they do? What would I they don't do? know. I mean, they'd probably cheer for the guy with kids, you know, and family. <laughs> I need the money, you know. <laughs> Michael Putnam might be richer than Andrew, but he's also five years older. Both were star players at Pepperdine University and both began their PGA careers at 24. Michael has helped Andrew ease into his rookie season. He gave me some advice, but... Um, it must not have been that good because he could not take my advice out here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, usually he's with his family and has his own, you know, rooms and stuff, but uh, some weeks we're, we're able to stay together. We, yeah. we try to get the uncle to come over and babysit, you know, help help with the kids every once in a while. I don't know if he knows how to change a diaper yet, but, you know, he'll get there. <laughs> I, I skipped that whole thing. Golf is truly a family affair for the Putnams. They have a younger brother who was a high school state champion, and their older brother is Michael's caddy. Yeah, my older brother Joel's been my caddy for seven years. Um, we've had a, a break here and there. Uh, you know, brother stuff. <laughs> brother stuff doesn't seem to exist in front of the galleries. At home, it's a different story. I'm a little more, uh, a little bit more high strung. I think we're both pretty laid back. Um, well, we both like to compete. Yeah, he's more competitive. He breaks ping pong paddles when I beat him. So, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he's probably a better player than I am. I'll admit that finally. When it comes to golf, nobody has solid bragging rights this season. Both haven't cracked the top 100 in the FedEx Cup standings, but Michael sees a bright future for his little brother. I definitely think he's a better player than I am. He just doesn't know yet. <laughs> uh, I figure if I can beat him every week, I'm going to keep my card every year and play pretty good. So, um, yeah, I mean, hopefully... He'll do way better than, you know, bigger and better things than I've ever done or will do. Yeah, Michael had a nice tournament, shot a 69 today, finished 13 under in a 21st uh, place finish. So great job for Michael. That wraps up our coverage from the at and Pro-Am where Brant Snedeker, a record 22 under par, wins the Pebble Beach Pro-Am for the second time. For our entire crew here at at and I'm Dennis O'Donnell. We will see you tonight on game day at 1130.